It's a wonderful day in West Virginia. Welcome to The Daily 304, Innovators and Entrepreneurs. Here at The Daily 304, we are committed to sharing the wealth, beauty, opportunity, and innovation that is here in wonderful, almost heaven, West Virginia. Twice a month, we introduce you to innovators and entrepreneurs and dig a little deeper into their companies, their work, their purpose, and the reasons they are here in the Mountain State and proud to call themselves West Virginians. Today, we are joined by Philip Merritt, Vice President and COO of Lakota. Philip and his company help everyone from law enforcement agencies to government entities, not only in the Mountain State, but all across the world using state-of-the-art advanced biometrics data. Best of all, they're doing it all right here in Almost Heaven, West Virginia. Philip Merritt, thanks for being with us today. Hi, Andy, I'm glad to be here today. So Lakota is doing really important, complicated stuff for organizations across the globe. For our listeners and our viewers, how would you describe your company to someone who may not be familiar with this line of work? So we are a small software development company and we specialize in biometrics. And biometric technology is basically the process of using traits about a person to recognize them. So most commonly people will know fingerprint recognition, but we also work with face recognition, iris recognition, and palm print recognition. Like I said, it's complicated. And Philip, can you tell me a little bit about what competitive advantage that you feel you gain by operating your company in West Virginia? Well, one of the best things I like about where we're located at right now, which we're in Fairmont, West Virginia, but we're located between West Virginia University and Fairmont State University, which is two great institutions that produce a lot of um, resources that we need to employ on our contracts that we support. And we're also located really close to the FBI facility and the Department of Defense's biometric systems, which in this area has been great to help us get started in the biometric industry. When you step away from Lakota for a moment, could you tell me personally and for your team, What's special about living, working, and playing here in Almost Heaven? Um, I love all the seasons. Um, some of the best things I like about being an employer here, it's, you know, we can always find great employees and they tend to be a lot more dedicated in this area than you find in the industry um, in general. So those things uh, make it nice here. I also love, I'm an avid runner, so I love running in the state. I enjoy nature and there's lots of opportunities all throughout the state to just get out and enjoy nature. Um, and it's just a nice place to be. Great, great. Share that with you. We were uh, obviously hiking, biking, rafting, running. Uh, we are in the middle of a, of a great uh, nature, basically, reserve here in West Virginia. Um, tell me a little bit more. Could you give me kind of a specific example of what biometrics means and how that works? So is it a security feature or is it fingerprints or are they you matching things that have to do with my physical presence with, what, uh, with, it, with technology? So could you explore that a little bit for me? Sure. So there's a lot of different um, areas in which biometrics are used. One of the main ones is security. So a lot of people have probably been through the process of getting a background check. I think teachers in the state have to go get their fingerprints to get their background search. And also when people get arrested, they typically collect their biometrics and they collect their fingerprints, face, um, and then it all gets stored into a big database. And we're fortunate enough in this area that we have two of the largest databases, biometric databases in the world located, you know, within this area. And typically when somebody goes to apply for a job somewhere that collects their fingerprints and does a background search, they'll then take those fingerprints or biometrics, whatever they are, and they'll search these databases and then they can use that information to determine whether basically this is somebody who's been arrested in the past and they're not who they say they are. That's probably the primary usage of biometrics. Of course, now people people are probably a lot more familiar with their usage on phones, like you know, most iPhones do facial recognition to log in, but it's basically a way to authenticate somebody and prove who they are um, in a way that you can't um, forge. And you, you mentioned that there are two of the largest biometric databases in the world are located in West Virginia? Yes, they're located um, at the FBI CGIS facility. Amazing, amazing. Um, in terms of your team and how you uh, live, work, and play here and, and keep that entrepreneurial spirit going, obviously your business, your industry is changing daily as, uh, as, as you know, the technology we carry around on our phones uh, is as well. Um, how do you keep yourself and your company uh, innovative and entrepreneurial? Um, what are those things that you could give to other entrepreneurs and other people in West Virginia that are trying to be innovative as to how they can keep that battery charged to keep inventing new things for themselves and for their business. 
my recommendation to people is you have to enjoy learning and you have to constantly seek out new opportunities and stay in front of technology. Technology changes so fast with the stuff that we're doing today. They weren't teaching in school 10 years ago. A lot of it, they're just now getting around to teaching it in school. So you have to kind of stay up with technology. You know, there's a big move now from everything's moving to the cloud. So, you know, going out on your own, taking the, make it taking the initiative to go out and learn these new technologies before they start becoming more mainstream is the type of stuff that you have to look at doing which as a company we encourage our employees to do that we have a lot of different training programs and training opportunities and as we you know, target these future capabilities that are coming out you know we try to stay ahead of the curve and see the things coming down the road and get our employees up to speed before they get here so what i heard is we got to be committed to lifelong learning adapting, not fighting technology, understanding where the risks are, and your team has to even be more deep in that to be able to help businesses, governments, um, to be able to stay ahead of that curve and keep bad things from happening to really important data. Yeah, that's definitely a good way to put it. Yeah, great. So do you do, you do business just in North America or all over the globe? So. We have two lines of business. So part of our company, we do government services contracts. Most of our services contracts are US based in this area. We have contract with the FBI, DOD, DHS, and the FBI, but we also have um, commercial contracts or commercial work that we do and we sell software commercially. We've sold that all over the world. And actually recently, although the contract itself was through the US government, but we did build a biometric system for the country of Somalia and deployed that a couple months ago successfully. Serving the world from West Virginia, thank you so much for being an innovator, for being an entrepreneur and uh, employing great West Virginians. And, and thanks for the, the great comments about how loyal they are and, 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 and keep going. Um, we're running out of time. Uh, it's a short show. So please tell me what's the, the best way that people that are interested in Lakota could connect with you and learn more about what you do. The best way would be to go to our website at lakotasoftware.com. We have a lot of the information about the stuff that we do on our website. Um, we're also on LinkedIn. Um, you can find us as Lakota Software on LinkedIn. Um, and feel free to look me up as well. I'm Philip Merritt. You'll find me on LinkedIn also. Excellent, excellent. Philip Merritt, thank you so much. And thank you for watching. Be sure to follow us on all our social media channels at The Daily 304. You can also stay up to date with all the great things happening in beautiful, almost heaven, West Virginia by heading on over to wv.gov daily 304. We'll see you again next time.